Okay, Moses Mora with you again. I hope you're enjoying the ride here. Uh, so we talked about how we came to paint the Tortilla Flats mural and how the research that we had to do with the elders in the community. And uh, it was a wonderful thing. And then I do want to talk about after we were finished with the mural. I mean, we're never really finished with the mural. Like, like I had no, noted that we're still gathering information. But after the mural, we had time to go around town and talk to local, um, you know, the Kiwanis Club, the Lions Club, uh, Ventura College, different classroom settings like that. And, um, you know, talk about what we did, talk about the pro project and tell them it's right down there in downtown Ventura. You can go see it. Would love to give tours of, of the, um, the mural. If you have a group that feels that you would benefit from a tour, we can do tours. And MB and I, we also went to colleges um, far away from here, you know, all the way down to uh, um, like San Bernardino area and Los Angeles. You know, we talked to, of colleges there. And now we have um, Cal State Channel Islands here locally, and they've taken a real interest uh, in what we're doing. Um, there's a professor over there who constantly tells his students, um, if you want to look up, do a history project, uh, I would suggest the Tortilla Flats story that happened in Ventura. And every semester for the last few years, uh, we get a, a group, a class, from uh, from Vint, uh, from the college there, Channel Islands, and they come by and MB and myself will give them a uh, a tour of the class. It's kind of interesting because sometimes I get into telling the story, and very often the people uh, are from Ventura or Ventura Oxnard, Ventura County area, and sometimes I think that they know the the neighborhood, the the. And then I realized these people are in college, and some of them might have come from Fresno or Salinas or, you know, some part of L.A. that and d did not grow up here. But they're living here now, and they're getting familiar with Ventura County. And it's a good way, you know, to welcome people uh, to our community and uh, tell, them, tell them about the community that they're currently involved in. So yeah, it's like that. Um, we went actually as as a art as an art project. It wasn't just a mural project because it also became a reunion project. And so we might have started out calling ourselves the Tortilla Flats Mural Project, but very soon it became the Tortilla Flats Mural and Reunion Project. And so many years have gone by with us doing this work over and over because it never gets boring. It just keeps getting more interesting. Um, we now call it the, the Tortilla Flats Legacy Project. And we're concerned with the legacy of what was created here and all of the people who were involved in it. And we really did try to get every family that lived in Tortilla Flats, you know, represented in the mural. And one of the ways we did that is that we got a lot of classroom pictures, like class pictures from the 1940s of May Hanning School. And there might be 30 kids in there with 30 different last names representing 30 families from the area. So uh, we've got several of those types of pictures in the mural. And so, yeah, almost everybody who was there, uh, anybody who lived in, in the neighborhood, or one way or another represented in the, in the mural also. And that's why I think on the local level, it just resonated with, with uh, the neighborhoods. 
And on the larger level, like I said, it's a universal s story and it's very easy to get into. And it's a pretty amazing story to begin with, you know. Um, I think that every neighborhood, everywhere, should start documenting uh, their neighborhood. Take pictures. If you see a, uh, a building that looks old and you think that building might not be here very much longer, take a picture of it. Because somebody took a picture of Benny's Market for us, and we were searching. Because if we had the shape of a building, well, we could add the rest. We could write Benny's Market on it, and we could make some ads up about how much uh, uh, the eggs cost back in the 1940s, you know. The rest is easy, but we need to know what did the building look like. That is so important. And even if it was a square box, you know, take pictures. Like, that's history. That's your history. And that's what we also learned with this project. It's that, you know, culture is not something that we study in school. We create culture. We make culture by the things that we do. That's how culture comes into being. And the same with history. We could study history in class if you want to, or we can make history by what we do. You know, a lot of people are doing that. Just document it, and you're making history. Podcast, you know, back in 30 years ago, uh, if I used the word podcast, there might be a minority of people who had a clue as to what that meant. But in today's world, podcasts rule, you know. And these kinds of stories, just like this, you know, don't, doesn't take too long to educate people on something. These are marvelous. And we're very grateful, you know, for the, the interest that we're getting from the universities, from the people who are creating podcasts, and the people who just want to see the mural and hear a nice story. We're very grateful for all of that. Thank you.